What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is season one of the Netflix mockumentary series, American Vandal. American Vandal is a satirical take on the true crime genre as it accounts the story of Dylan Maxwell, a high school student who has been accused of spray painting dicks on every car in the faculty parking lot. Dylan, a student known for joking around, dick drawing, and generally being a troublesome student in general, was supposedly spotted at the scene of the crime, but the show's documentarian believes that there's evidence Dylan may actually be innocent. This documentary is born when a peer of Dylan's named Peter begins investigating the case and conducting interviews, and the rest of the first season is spent investigating all possible suspects and trying to understand whether Dylan is guilty or innocent as the criminal dick drawler. Alright, so I'm a little late on this one considering this show dropped on Netflix a couple weeks ago now, but I felt really compelled to deliver a review on this one. I felt compelled because this is one of those shows that has a lot more to it than meets the eye, and I'm not just talking about the mystery of the dicks, I'm talking about how funny it is, how smart it is, is and how much light it sheds on the true crime genre as a whole. Because I initially thought this show would be silly goofball nonsense, and it is that to an extent, but it's often a lot more than that. American Vandal takes a silly premise and somehow makes it riveting by hitting all the same beats that a true crime show would, while still managing to be hilarious along the way. The show gave me a lot more than I thought it would, because I found myself increasingly invested in this mystery with each passing episode. I think a big part of that is just how well paced and how well written this entire story is. I mean, each passing episode gives you a little bit more information into the mystery, a little bit more information into specific characters who may have had a role to play in the dicks on the cars, and this just isn't a story just only about Dylan Maxwell and whether he drew the dicks or not. This documentary looks into a ton of characters of interest that also had a stake in this case. And in so many ways, this show is way, way smarter than you'd initially think, because what they do with these characters to illustrate their flaws and create just enough doubt in your mind to make you suspicious of them is nothing short of brilliant. It's nothing short of brilliant that the show manages to make you invest so much in a crime that's so over the top and ridiculous. Trust me though, as you progress through the episodes, I think you'll be pretty shocked how invested you are in this case. There's definitely a real brilliance to that because anytime a movie or a show gives you what you were hoping for and then some, you're likely going to look back on that experience pretty fondly because you got more than what you bargained for. American Vandal takes that to the extreme though because it doesn't just give you what you bargained for, it gives you way, way more than you bargained for and that's a sign of a great show. There's a lot of true crime shows out there that do some really great things dramatically, but I think I found myself almost more impressed by this show because it manages to juggle several tones simultaneously without ever missing a beat. There's a silliness to this entire story, but there's also a seriousness to this entire story at the same time because Dylan faces some serious consequences for his alleged actions, like missing college, paying 100k in damages, and so forth, and there's times where not even he fully understands the gravity of his predicament. Due to some excellent writing and a great great performance by Jimmy Tatro, you start to sympathize with Dylan in a sort of Stephen Avery kind of way. The more you learn about Dylan, the more you realize that he's not necessarily an upstanding student and citizen. He has many flaws and he is very much capable of committing the crime he's been accused of, but the investigation efforts by the documentarians shed light on certain inconsistencies that cast some serious doubt to the prospects of Dylan as the Vandal. American Vandal is extremely self-aware and hits all the beats that a true crime show would. It satirizes the genre for sure but it also plays to its tendencies as well. And that's another reason why I love this show. It pokes fun at a booming genre while still playing to its tendencies. This is sort of the Deadpool equivalent of the true crime genre. Something else I really liked was the cast of characters that feel extremely realistic and also more generally the show's portrayal of high school as a whole. This is a show that's very easy to binge watch because it's so easy to get wrapped up in these characters and their individual plights because it's not just about the dicks. It's about these young kids trying to find their identity like they would in a coming of age story. They're all superbly acted and have such unique personalities that they fit the school and the story so well that it's so easy to believe this is all a true story. There's several standouts, but I think the biggest winner in all this has to be Jimmy Tatro, who played the suspect of interest Dylan Maxwell. What I liked about Dylan was the fact that he's a very flawed character, but still retains a high level of likability. It's not that he's just a horrible person that you hate and want to see found guilty. He's a prankster that has a good heart, but is often just misunderstood. With with that said though, he certainly has flaws when it comes to being responsible, telling the truth, and in other areas that help make this case a whole lot more compelling. That's generally the case with most true crime shows, especially ones like Making a Murderer, where there's questionable aspects about the character of the suspect, but the case is all the more compelling because of it. Dylan isn't a great kid, but that doesn't mean he committed this crime. So while he does some hilarious things and he does fit the bill, there's enough doubt to make this case this satirical still really engaging nonetheless. But overall, I've really enjoyed American Van. 
Mando. And this is definitely a show you should give a watch. I thought it had excellent pacing, awesomely written and acted characters, a satirical and intelligent crime story, and a hilarious brand of humor. And there honestly wasn't anything I disliked about this show. I'm gonna give American Vandal season one a 10 out of 10, and definitely recommend you check this one out on Netflix if you love true crime shows and you're just looking for some good fun. So have you guys seen American Vandal season one yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite true crime show. There's a lot to choose from nowadays. That's all for now though. This is Wolfoxification signing off. See you in the next video.